what's going on everybody? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports back with a brand new video and this one I'm super pumped about. We have the Ultra Boost 4.0s. Let's get into this review. What's going on guys? Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports. Thank you for stopping by as always. I'm so happy to see you all here. I have a new review for you. Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so we do have a somewhat unique box here with the Ultra Boost 4.0. You do have this unique lid on the top. You sort of flip open this side, flip open the other, and boom, there are the shoes. So let's take one out and the other, and we'll toss the box off to the side. Boom, there we go. Now, this is not a new shoe by any means. The Ultra Boost 4.0 has been out for a long time now. They had the Ultra Boost 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. This is the 4.0, and essentially every single time, they've tweaked the upper to create a more comfortable and flexible and softer upper material. So they still use Prime Knit on every variation. They've just played with the way the Prime Knit is weaved and created. So with the 4.0s, this is actually my first pair of the 4.0s. I still have my original 1.0s, the Volt and Black colorway. I've done a review on those before. You can find it on my channel if you'd like to check it out. But this is the 4.0. So again, like I said before, the only difference is they've played with the weave of the prime knit. Everything else has not been changed. We still have the same midsole, the same outsole, the same cage, even though the cage material is different every now and then, depending on the model they release. And we still have the same heel counter at the back. The shape is the same. And overall, it's just a very popular shoe. It is really comfortable. The Ultra Boost is one of the most comfortable shoes that you could possibly get. They do have a new Ultra Boost 19 for the 2019 year. That is a new design, an all new take on the Ultra Boost that is offering things that are slightly different to the 4.0 and I have done a review on the Ultra Boost 19s and I am doing a review comparison between the 19s and the 4.0, so stay tuned for that. So right here, Ultra Boost Prime Knit Upper. This one is a white and red colorway. We do have the cage right here that is made out of this plasticky material. We do have the heel counter at the back, Boost Midsole with the Continental Tire Outsole right there and the torsion system in the midfoot right there. And other than that, that is pretty much it. That's how the Ultra Boost is made. We do have a very padded liner right here. It's basically where the red part of the shoe is. And as you get towards this white upper material on the inside, it is exposed prime knit, offering you the breathability, the comfort, and of course the flexibility that the prime knit upper is meant to do. Other than that, I don't think I have too much to say about it. The colorway is really dope in my opinion, white and red with a little bit of black as we get towards the heel. It's almost like this nice color blocking kind of design and I think it looks really, really good overall. Outsole, like I said, continental tire with a very unique black webbing on top of the boost. You do sit right on top of the boost if I were to remove the sock liner, so that is a unique and very comfortable feeling. And that is pretty much it. I'm gonna slip them on feet. We'll talk about fit and feel and sizing, so stay tuned for that. With the Ultra Boost 4.0s on feet, I do notice a very slight difference in the upper material. So not that the feel is different, but just because of the way the Prime Knit is weaved, you do notice a different feeling when it comes to stretch and flexibility. But it's really not a big thing, but I do notice compared to my original 1.0s, I do notice a slightly more flexible feel in the 4.0 Prime Knit. But other than that, everything else is the same. The shape is the same, the comfort is the same, the midsole cushioning is the same. You do have that locked in feel thanks to the heel counter and a very padded heel area overall. Sizing, I would go true to size, 100%, no doubt about it. They fit very comfortably. Narrow, medium, wide feet, you can all fit into it. So I really, really like the Ultra Boost. It's a very comfortable shoe and it's one that everybody knows at this point. Almost everyone knows what the Ultra Boost is. They know they're comfortable and they've basically become an everyday shoe in many ways too. Even though they are a running shoe, they're so comfortable that people will wear them in an everyday setting just because of that midsole cushioning, that boost, baby. So there we go. That is my review of the Ultra Boost 4.0s. If you want more information comparing the Ultra Boost to the Ultra Boost 19, go check out my comparison and I'm going to send it back to the desk and we're going to wrap up this video. So there we have it guys, the Ultra Boost 4.0s. 
really good looking shoe very comfortable one of the best on the market and like I said all video it's one that so many people know already they wear it all the time it's become an everyday shoe super comfortable boost cushioning and the 4.0 just they've had a ton of colorways now in this specific one I really really think is quite cool so that's pretty much it on my review of the ultra boost 4.0s please let me know what you guys think down below if you enjoyed the video smash that like button do whatever it is you got to do Hit the subscribe button, you're already here and there's more great videos coming. So, I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, Mike McTire, All Things Sports, signing off for now. Take care. Peace.